15 foods, no carbs and no sugar. Hi everyone. Today we are talking about 15 foods that are completely free of carbs and sugar. Whether you're following a low carb diet or just looking to cut back on added sugars, these foods are perfect for keeping your diet on track. From protein packed meats and dairy products to nutrient rich veggies and healthy fats. There's something for everyone on this list. So, let's get started. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only. So, speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. Number 1, Meat. Beef, chicken, etc. Meat refers to the flesh of animals used as food, such as beef, chicken, lamb, etc. It is a rich source of protein and essential nutrients, including iron, zinc, and B vitamins. Meats are low in carbohydrates and sugar, making them suitable for low-carb and sugar-free diets. The fat content of meat can vary depending on the type and cut. With some being higher in saturated fat, such as fatty cuts of beef, and others being lower, such as lean cuts of chicken or turkey. However, lean cuts of meat can still be a nutritious and satisfying addition to a low-carb, no-sugar diet. Number 2. Fish Salmon, tuna, cod, etc. Fish is a type of seafood that is rich in nutrients and low in carbohydrates and sugar. It is an excellent source of protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and vitamins and minerals, including vitamin D and B12. Some examples of fish commonly consumed as food include salmon, tuna, cod, halibut and sole. Fish can be prepared in a variety of ways, such as baked, grilled, or fried, and can be incorporated into a wide range of dishes, from salads to stews. Eating fish as part of a low-carb, no-sugar diet can provide a healthy source of protein and essential nutrients without the addition of carbohydrates and sugar. Number 3. Eggs. Eggs are versatile in nutritious food that can be a great addition to a low-carb, no-sugar diet. Eggs are an excellent source of protein and contain all the essential amino acids needed for the human body to function properly. They are also a good source of vitamins and minerals, including vitamins A, D, E, and B12, as well as folate and iron. Eggs are naturally low in carbohydrates and sugar, with a large egg containing only about 0.5 grams of carbs and less than 1 gram of sugar. This makes them a great choice for those following a low-carb or sugar-free diet. Additionally, the high-quality protein in eggs can help keep you feeling full and satisfied for longer, making it easier to stick to a healthy eating plan. There are many ways to prepare eggs, making them a versatile food for any meal of the day. They can be boiled, fried, scrambled, baked, or made into an omelette. They can also be used in a variety of recipes, such as cakes, mayonnaise, and custards, providing a nutritious, and low-carb alternative to traditional ingredients. Number 4, Cheese. Cheddar, feta, mozzarella, etc. Cheese is a dairy product made from the curdled milk of cows, goats, or sheep. Cheese is an excellent source of protein, calcium, and other essential nutrients, including vitamins A, D, and B12. The carbohydrate and sugar content of cheese varies depending on the type and brand. Most cheeses are low in carbohydrates and sugar, with some types, such as cheddar, feta, and mozzarella containing less than 1 gram of carbs per serving. This makes cheese a good choice for those following a low-carb or sugar-free diet. Cheese is a versatile food that can be used in a variety of dishes and recipes. It can be grated, melted, or eaten as a snack. It is a common ingredient in many savory dishes, such as pizzas, pastas, and sandwiches, and can also be used in sweet recipes such as cheesecakes. However, it is important to note that some types of cheese can be high in saturated fat. So, it is recommended to choose low-fat varieties or consume cheese in moderation as part of a balanced diet. Additionally, some people may be intolerant to lactose, the sugar found in milk. So, it is important to check for any food sensitivities before incorporating cheese into a low-carb, no-sugar diet. 
Number 5. Nuts. Almonds, walnuts, macadamia, etc. Nuts, such as almonds, walnuts, macadamia and others, are a type of food that is high in healthy fats, protein, and fiber and low in carbohydrates and sugar. They are a popular snack food and can also be used as ingredient in many recipes. Nuts are high in healthy monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which can help lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. They are also a good source of protein with most types of nuts containing between 4 and 7 grams of protein per 1 ounce serving. Additionally, nuts are high in fiber, which can help keep you feeling full and satisfied for longer. The carbohydrate and sugar content of nuts varies depending on the type, with most containing between 4 and 8 grams of carbs per serving. This makes nuts a good choice for those following a low-carb or sugar-free diet. However, it is important to be mindful of portion sizes when eating nuts. As they are calorie-dense and can contribute to weight gain if consumed in large quantities. Nuts can be enjoyed as a snack on their own or added to dishes and recipes for a crunchy and nutritious addition. They can also be used to make nut butters, such as almond or peanut butter, which can be spread on toast, used in baking recipes, or added to smoothies for added flavor and nutrition. Number 6. Seeds. Kia, pumpkin, sunflower, etc. Seeds such as kia, pumpkin, sunflower, and others, are a type of food that is high in healthy fats. Protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals, and low in carbohydrates and sugar. They are a popular snack food, and can also be used as an ingredient in many recipes. Seeds are high in healthy monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which can help lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. They are also a good source of protein, with most types of seeds containing between 4 and 7 grams of protein per 1 ounce serving. Additionally, seeds are high in fiber, which can help keep you feeling full and satisfied for longer. It is important to be mindful of portion sizes when eating seeds as they are calorie dense and can contribute to weight gain if consumed in large quantities. Seeds can be enjoyed as a snack on their own or added to dishes and recipes for added nutrition and flavor. They can also be used to make seed butters, such as sunflower seed butter, which can be spread on toast, used in baking recipes, or added to smoothies for added flavor and nutrition. Number 7. Avocado. Avocado is a type of fruit that is high in healthy fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals, and low in carbohydrates and sugar. It is a popular food that is widely used in many cuisines and is known for its creamy and rich texture. Avocado is high in healthy monounsaturated fats, which can help lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. It is also a good source of fiber, with one medium-sized avocado containing around 11 grams of fiber. Avocado is a good source of vitamins and minerals, including potassium, vitamin K, vitamin E, and vitamin C. The carbohydrate and sugar content of avocado is low, with one medium-sized avocado containing around 9 grams of carbs and less than 1 gram of sugar. Avocado can be enjoyed in many different ways, including sliced on toast, mashed into guacamole, or blended into smoothies. It can also be used as a healthy substitute for butter or mayonnaise and recipes, as its creamy texture makes it a great ingredient for sauces and dressings. Number 8. Olives. Olives are a type of fruit that is high in healthy fats and low in carbohydrates and sugar. They are often used as a condiment or ingredient in many dishes and are a popular snack food in many cultures around the world. Olives are a good source of healthy monounsaturated fats. They are also a source of antioxidants, which can help protect against cellular damage and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Olives are low in carbohydrates and sugar, making them a suitable food for those following a low-carb or sugar-free diet. The carbohydrate and sugar content of olives varies depending on the type, and preparation, with most containing between 2 and 4 grams of carbs per serving. 
This makes olives a good choice for those following the low-carb or sugar-free diet. Olives can be enjoyed on their own as a snack or used as an ingredient in many dishes. They can be used to make olive oil, which is a healthy cooking oil that is high in monounsaturated fats and low in saturated fats. Olives can also be used in salads, sandwiches, and other recipes for added flavor and nutrition. Number 9. Coconut oil and coconut milk. Coconut oil and coconut milk are derived from the flesh of coconuts and are used as ingredients in many recipes and as cooking oils. They are both low in carbohydrates and sugar, making them suitable for low-carb and sugar-free diets. Coconut oil is high in healthy medium-chain triglycerides, MCTs, which are a type of saturated fat that is metabolized differently than other types of saturated fats. MCTs are easily converted into ketones, which are an important source of energy for the body and can be particularly beneficial for those following a ketogenic diet. Coconut oil is also a good source of lauric acid, which has been shown to have antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. Coconut milk is made by blending coconut meat with water and is a good source of healthy fats, fiber, and minerals. It is lower in carbohydrates and sugar than many other types of milk, making it a suitable alternative for those following a low-carb or sugar-free diet. Coconut milk can be used in cooking and baking recipes, as well as in smoothies and other drinks. It is important to note that while both coconut oil and coconut milk are low in carbohydrates and sugar, they are high in calories. Additionally, some people may have an intolerance or allergy to coconut products. So, it is important to be mindful of your individual health needs when consuming coconut oil and coconut milk. Number 10. Butter and ghee. Butter and ghee are both dairy products that are commonly used in cooking and baking. Both are low in carbohydrates and sugar. Butter is a dairy product made from the fat and protein of cow's milk. It is a good source of saturated fat, which can help to increase feelings of fullness and satisfaction after a meal. Butter is also a rich source of butyric acid, a short-chain fatty acid that has been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties and to support the health of the gut. Ghee is a type of clarified butter that has had the milk solids and water removed, leaving only the pure butter fat. This makes ghee a good source of healthy saturated fats, and it also has a higher smoke point than butter, making it a good choice for high heat cooking. Ghee is also lactose in casein free, making it a good choice for those with dairy sensitivities. When choosing between butter and ghee, it is important to consider the type of cooking or baking you will be doing, as well as your individual health needs. Both butter and ghee are relatively high in calories. Number 11, heavy cream. Heavy cream also known as heavy whipping cream is a type of dairy product that is commonly used in cooking and baking. It is low in carbohydrates and sugar, making it suitable for low carb and sugar-free diets. Heavy cream is made from the fat and protein of cow's milk and is a good source of healthy saturated fats. It is also a rich source of butyric acid. Heavy cream is a versatile ingredient that can be used in a variety of recipes, including soups, sauces, and baked goods. It can also be whipped and used as a topping for desserts or as a base for whipped cream. Number 12, dark chocolate. 85% or higher cocoa. Dark chocolate with 85% or higher cocoa is a type of chocolate that is low in carbohydrates and sugar, making it suitable for low carb and sugar-free diets. Dark chocolate is made from cocoa solids, cocoa butter, and sugar. The higher the percentage of cocoa, the less sugar is present in the chocolate. Dark chocolate with 85% or higher cocoa contains very little added sugar and has a rich, intense flavor that can be satisfying and indulgent. In addition to its low carb and sugar-free properties, Dark chocolate is also a good source of antioxidants and healthy fats, including monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. These antioxidants and healthy fats have been shown to have a variety of health benefits, including improving heart health, supporting healthy brain function, 
and reducing inflammation in the body. Some dark chocolates may contain added ingredients such as milk or soy products. So, it is important to read the label and choose a high-quality dark chocolate that meets your individual health needs. Number 13, Broccoli. Broccoli is a type of vegetable that is low in carbohydrates and sugar, making it a great addition to a low-carb and sugar-free diet. Broccoli is a member of the cruciferous vegetable family and is known for its high nutrient content. It is a good source of vitamin C, K, and B6, as well as minerals such as iron and potassium. Broccoli is also a source of dietary fiber, which can help to support digestive health and satiety. In addition to its low-carb and sugar-free properties, broccoli has been shown to have a variety of health benefits. The antioxidants and phytochemicals and broccoli have been shown to have anti-inflammatory and cancer-fighting properties. Additionally, the high fiber content of broccoli can help to support heart health and healthy cholesterol levels. Broccoli can be consumed in a variety of ways, including raw or cooked, steamed, or roasted. It can also be added to soups, stews, and casseroles, or blended into smoothies for a nutrient-packed boost. Number 14, Spinach. Spinach is a leafy green vegetable that is low in carbohydrates and sugar, making it a great addition to a low-carb and sugar-free diet. Spinach is known for its high nutrient content, including vitamins A, C, and K, as well as minerals such as iron and calcium. It is also a good source of dietary fiber, which can help to support digestive health and satiety. In addition to its low-carb and sugar-free properties, spinach has been shown to have a variety of health benefits. The antioxidants in phytochemicals in spinach have been shown to have anti-inflammatory and cancer-fighting properties. Additionally, the high fiber and nutrient content of spinach can help to support heart health, healthy vision, and strong bones. Spinach can be consumed in a variety of ways, including raw and salads, or smoothies, cooked as a side dish, or added to soups, stews, and casseroles. Number 15, Cauliflower. Cauliflower is a versatile and nutritious cruciferous vegetable that can be a great addition to a low-carb and sugar-free diet. It is a popular ingredient in many health-conscious diets, due to its low carbohydrate and sugar content, as well as its high nutrient density. One of the key nutritional benefits of cauliflower is its high vitamin content, particularly vitamin C and K, as well as B6. These vitamins play important roles in supporting the immune system, maintaining healthy bones, and reducing oxidative stress in the body. Additionally, cauliflower contains important minerals, such as potassium and phosphorus which are essential for maintaining strong bones in a healthy electrolyte balance. In terms of health benefits, cauliflower has been linked to a number of positive outcomes, such as reducing the risk of certain types of cancer, promoting heart health, and supporting healthy digestion. This is due, in part, to its high fiber content and the presence of phytochemicals with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. There are many ways to incorporate cauliflower into your diet. For example, you can enjoy it raw in salads or dips, roast it as a side dish, or mashed as a low-carb alternative to mashed potatoes. You can also add it to soups, stews, and casseroles for a nutritious boost, or blend it into smoothies for a delicious and easy way to increase your vegetable intake. And there you have it 15 delicious and healthy foods that are completely free of carbs and sugar. Remember, it's important to have a balanced diet that includes a variety of nutrient-rich foods. But when you're looking to cut back on carbs or sugar, these options are a great place to start. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.